he is here. The nightmare himself. Yuri Perez is on the God Squad. I'm just short of the event win, so we bought him today so we get his debut up ASAP. Long story short, this card is looking very good as a top tier starter with that outlier sinker. The good circle change in serve should also be good. Thing is, is this card gonna actually be like Edward Cabrera 2.0? We theorized about it in yesterday's video. If you've not seen that, give that a watch up here. But in general, I think this card should be good on its own nonetheless. I'm excited to go out there and give this card a go. This is the team we are currently rocking. So let's hop on into rank season on legend difficulty and uh, hopefully we can pitch ourselves a ball game. We all know how bad I can be in pitcher debuts. All right, honestly, pretty respectable team, but we are home and being the home team is always a dandy thing. The thing I'm interested in is the motion. Like the, the windup is a little bit different than Edward Cabrera's last year. However, the arm slot is definitely that's pretty similar to Edward Cabrera. I really don't think he will be nightmare fuel because he doesn't have a slider and has the slurve instead. So I don't think it's as versatile of a pitch. However, it's still a good pitch nonetheless. I think this card should still be very nasty but he ain't gonna be no Edward. I remember back in the day, I'm gonna be 21. There was a point in the year after Team Affinity 3 where nearly every game you played on the game was either against Jacob DeGrom and Edward Cabrera. And that was more so annoying because you only saw the same two pitchers. See, in a, in a pitch like this, it would be nice to have a slider because I'd throw it down and in, but it's probably not gonna be as effective as a pitch with the slurve. Circle change though. Sir, that pitch is significantly out of the strike zone. How dare you? Yes, it did. A good start. About as good of a start as you can ask for. I guess so. We'll see what it's like to face him as well. All right, so we're a little bit behind on the ball. That was a terrible pitch. Like, that pitch should have been crushed. That's honestly incredible. It's not a foul ball. That's like right in the PCI. And we're being very patient at the plate, which is always promising. It really did not age well. Thank you. You know what? Grow up. Okay, not a good inning. Fury is looking a little tough right now. I mean, for my first game of the day, there's always a little bit of warming up. You know, we got to warm up, get the timing down. I will say, my man is efficient out here. Four pitch inning? I see you. I see you, Yuri Perez. I have never once heard anything about my stadium lagging or anything. Big confusion. Oh, Georgie. Do it to him, buddy. Do it to him. Oh, an oppo taco on him. See, I feel like that is partially why this card is going to be slightly worse than Edward Cabrera. Because you got to throw that change up a little more with his pitch mix. And while the change up is a good pitch in this game, if you go to it too often, it's definitely very hittable. I mean, listen, we got to run. So a good start, but man, I got to get good at slowing down to the breaking balls. That's where our problems lie right now. Good pitch. What a three inning start for Yuri Perez, dude. Looking clean right now. I knew the pitch was coming too and I was still late on it. That's when you know a pitcher is tough to hit. When you know their fastball is coming and you're still late on it. I mean, to be fair, genuinely, that pitch was right down the middle. Get through. No. Yikes. All right. Let's, I, I don't know why we, we have not been able to locate here. Let's lock it in. Nice, dude. The inside sinker to righties, man. Good luck even touching it. I mean, listen, when you're throwing perfect pitches and every pitch is go outside a strike zone, there is not much you can do about that. There, There is not. Turn this, please. Freaking creative players, dude. Always the most enjoyable players to get out. Oh, good timing, foul ball, man. I mean, we'll, we'll take that swing. We'll take it. Even though it's going to change the late, we'll take it. What a cut, dude. That slurve is cake. And that was two. Oh, we're just a smidgen off. 
Like, we are this close to having a beginning. I'm so confused by what my opponent said about the game lagging. Just saying, it's the first time I've ever heard anything like that. And my, my friend here is on PlayStation, too. Also, that's going to be his first hit, huh? I wanted to do the thing. And we're going to give up our first hit on that? Alrighty. Cool. Let's, let's just keep it at that, please. I didn't want that pitch there, but it worked. Let's see what his timing is. If he's early on that, he's not getting another one. Thank you. Take a seat. Five innings in, and Yuri Perez is looking really good, and he's only giving up one hit. And it was as Mickey Mouse as Mickey Mouse gets, so. Just saying, I mean, he's looking a little saucy with it. Slow down, babe. I mean, I feel like we're reading the ball a little bit better out of the hand. Bro, that's right down the middle. I'm getting so many bad pitches from this man. Take him out. Take him out. Woo! Yeah, baby! We are dotting right now, dude. Go back to that good old circle change away. Early, early, early. We, we got early, but dinky single. At least that was better than the Frank Thomas hit. So we don't hate it. All right, just get the out one. Get the out one. Thank you. Give me, 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 give me. Yeah, Devin Williams, love that. I genuinely love how he's in the game now. Listen, Gary, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. Good, good swing. We just missed it, man. That has been the theme of this game. Just missing every single swing. Give me, thank you very much. Ah, that caught too much plate. We're gonna warm up the pen in case we are in a sweat fest of a game. Gary Perez is throwing a gem. Bro. That's the second very early hit with Frank Thomas, man. Alright, see, now that one is definitely frustrating because now that is a chance to be of any sort of impact. Now he's got two runners on. Turn this, please. Turn this. Oh. Alright, well now that runner's on third. Ah, uh, we're keeping him in, but this might be one of his last batters here, man. Come on, I know you want to swing at one. Yeah. We're taking a double. Whatever that was, I'm very disappointed in myself. I saw him taking the lead off too, and none of the guys were holding any runners. So I just threw the third, and I should have just got him out there. Thing is, that sucks. I think that run would have scored there anyway. And that is where that one little blue pit ends up costing me. Got that runner over to second, and eventually to third. That's it. I don't know what I could have done that play. I'm, I'm still looking at back at that play. Like, what could I have done differently there? Step off and throw home? I think it's the only thing could have maybe done. Stepped off and thrown home. That's the first time I've seen something like that happen. Keep it fair, man. That's like four foul ball homers this game, it feels like. Nice. Good cut. This man, George Brett, is built different. This man is built different versus righties. I'm glad that we could start to see some more right-handed pitchers like Yuri Perez, because he's doing stuff like this. Put a team on your back for the one time, George. So this guy just likes to spam the sinker. He's just going to keep on going that inside pitch. Got the timing, but guess what? The PCI was horrific. We got a 3-1 lead. We got bottom part of the order coming up, and then right back to the top. I'm going to keep in Yuri Perez for right now. With not as good control, it gets a little scary using him late game. Because look at how big that circle change part is. The pitch could literally go anywhere. My man has definitely just missed a few swings on his end. Like, you, if you're hitting the ball like that, you're just missing it. <laughs> this man is hitting hard hit outs. It's kind of scary. Ah, he doesn't have that power to hit that out. All right. Listen, man. Let's finish up the complete game with Yuri Perez. That is the goal here. Keep in mind, three, four, five, and his order is coming up. So if there's any sort of pressure, he's out of this game. All right, we're going to challenge him with an inside change up. Hopefully he's too early on it. 
Yes, sir. He actually did it. He got the timing good on it, but missed it entirely. Thought it was a sinker. We're good. Can you just swing and miss? Mm, take a seat, buddy. And that's why you don't throw high sinkers late game with Yuri Perez. That is what happened. See how big that par was? The pitch ended up right down the middle. Hey, listen. No matter what the outcome of the game was, this man pitched a gem of a game. But now a uh, Yohan Duran will be in, in this game. We will take it all day. But yeah, we're going to mix it up. Go to Yohan Duran now. It just with Yuri Perez, the risk of pitching a pitcher like him so late in the game is high because of how big his par is get. He's not a control pitcher. When you pitch him late into the game now, you're risking pitches hanging a lot easier. Bro, how many, how many dinky hits did this guy get? Like, holy smokes, man. Like, can we stop with this? Yeah, pull up a chair and take a seat. Catch this, please. Please, 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 please. Yeah! What a game, dude. What a pitching performance for the team and Yuri Perez. We faced Yuri Perez and we did a little bit better thanks to this man right here, George Brett. But actually a really good battle. I mean, on legend difficulty, which about what I would expect, Yuri Perez was definitely really good. Is he Edward Cabrera 2.0? I don't think so. I don't think he's got that same level of sauce, the same level of stuff with his pitches as Edward Cabrera had. However, he should be a very good pitcher to add in your rotation if you're looking to make a World Series push. Whatever circumstance it is, he should be very solid. I would recommend giving him a go. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed. Keep an eye out on the next video tomorrow because I'm going to be testing our future stars catchers including the new MJ Melendez and seeing which one is probably the best option for you to use. And I'll see you all again on that video tomorrow. This is...